Hey, what's up guys? This is Mr. Crumby. And so I wanted to give you um, a little tour of my art studio, kind of my room where I- Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's up? What are those? Dude, keeping it real. It's the quarantine. House shoes and, and pajama pants. That's what we do. Yep. All right, so let's go around the room. I'll show you kind of where I do my work at. So this is my desk I made. I needed a big, long table for me to do my work on. And so I made this myself. I got my paint set up here, got all the paints I'd ever need. If you're ever wondering where to get good paint, Walmart. Walmart's got it all. All right, so down here I got colored pencils, I got my paint brushes, Sharpies, um, anything we could ever need. All right, come on down here, we see my desk over here. This is um, Caroline's art table. Anytime I'm in here doing art, she feels she has to do some art as well. And so um, that's what we love to do that together. All right, so over here is my uh, is my table where I do all my painting. You notice the wall, just don't, yeah, don't worry about the wall. It does kind of look like an episode of Dexter in here. <laughs> don't worry about that. Let's focus on the art. So got one painting here I've started on. I'm not done with it yet, but you can, you can kind of see where the process is. Um, so in my closet in here, I've got kind of um, where I keep most of my canvases, all that, all the extra stuff. And so that's where, that's where it goes. All right, so let's, let's do some drawing today. All right, so one of my favorite um, children's book authors is Eric Carle. I love his artwork. I love the way he uses um, paint with the paper and then cuts that out to create his artwork. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna draw our very own Very Hungry Caterpillar, except today it's gonna be called the Very Doodly Caterpillar. And I'm gonna oh, show you. All right, so. Uh, so let's start off with just a little straight line. Just a straight line, just like that. All right. So next what we're going to do is we're going to make the head. Just a little curve over here, just like that. So then we're going to work down the body. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create the body almost like a little squiggly line. We could do it straight, but that's kind of boring. We don't want boring art. So. We're gonna start here, and we're just gonna start creating curves. I'm just gonna keep going. So now I want that curve to kind of go upward, so I'm gonna put the curve kind of more on the top. Now I'm just gonna keep going. Keep going around. I want that curve to start coming down this way. So my curve is gonna start going coming toward the bottom. And I'm gonna keep going, and then keep going. And then notice it just gets smaller and smaller toward the end. Now it looks like our caterpillar's kind of moving a little bit. All right. So what we need now is we need a face for our caterpillar. So the very hungry caterpillar, all we're going to be using is some circles. Two big circles here in the front. We're going to do two more circles on the inside, just like that. And a circle for the nose. Just like that, very simple. Now on top, we need some little, I don't know if they're called ears. I don't, I don't know if caterpillars have ears. Do they have ears? I don't know. I don't know either. We'll say they're ears. So we need some legs. So we're just gonna draw some little legs. And so all it is back here, just a thick line and a line like this. Coming down, just like that. For the back, then we're going to do the same thing for the front. We're going to put another four legs up here at the front. So I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put one up, two up here toward the front. And if I'm going too fast, what can you do? Pause the video. Pause the video, yeah, and then you can catch back up. Very nice. All right, so um, so one thing is why we call it the doodly caterpillar is because one style of art that I love to do is zen tangles, which is basically like a, just a very fancy form of doodling. So in these little spaces here, what we're going to do is we're just going to do some patterns of lines, okay? So in here, I'm just going to start with a very simple pattern. I'm just going to use some lines. Just 
just like that. And I'm using a Sharpie, but at home, you probably need to use a pencil in case you make a mistake. What can you do? Pause the video. And eraser, and erase your mistakes and start over. All right, so now on to the next one. I think I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do some curved lines, just like this. And then inside of these, I think I'm gonna do a little pattern like that, and then maybe some dots. I'm gonna leave that one blank. And then I'm gonna color that one in. Dots, I'm gonna leave that one blank. I'm gonna color this one in. Leave that one blank there. And then I'll color this one in. And then dots there. And so then as we keep going down, we're just going to create some more patterns. So in this one, I think I'm going to use, let's use some circles. I'm just going to attach some circles together just like this. It doesn't have to be complicated. It can be very, very simple. And in that little extra space, let's just color that in. Now, do you have to do exactly what I do? No. Absolutely not. Yeah. Use your own patterns. Yeah, very good. I love my assistant on the camera there. He's like he's reading my mind. Yeah, so you can create your own patterns, but if you want to use some of mine, my students know when, whenever I show artwork that I don't mind if they use some of my... So, here, let's go to the next one here. Maybe use... Let's use some triangles here. And maybe I want to do a pattern on the inside as well. Here. And then let's keep going. Maybe in this one, um, I'm going to do just maybe just some dots. Create like a texture pattern. Notice for this, I'm not really worried about making it perfect. Um, so let's see here. Let's do some more just straight lines, but in these lines, it looks kind of like the first one, but in these, we're gonna create some more patterns. All right, so as we keep going down, maybe on this one, Can make a checkerboard then I could color some of these in if I want to. Um, let's see here. I'm just gonna start really quickly just kind of making some different patterns. Um, let's see here. Till we get to the end and then um, let's see what should we do at the end. Let's do two, three, one, two, three, and there we go. So, what should all great artists do when they are at the end of their pi their picture? Signature, an artist signature. So, I always try to put it in like a really small spot. So, just like that. Once you're done with it, you can add a background, you can color it in, you know, get creative with it. And so, stay tuned. There's probably gonna be a few more videos coming out of some of my favorite children's book characters we can all draw together. Until next time, see ya.